Most of us picture police officers chasing suspects and writing tickets. We don't see them often helping families with food, shoes, even counseling Marius when they need help on these difficult calls are out. Well, when Sergeant Blue, Benita Blue Devault, walked me to her temporary storage space for a back to school supply giveaway, an unfinished floor of the Family Resource Center next to Metro Police Headquarters on Murfreesboro Pike. I could not believe my eyes. In tonight's For Your Community, meet the Metro Police Sergeant, helping hundreds of Nashville kids and their families, one notebook and toothbrush at a time. Go through the maze, be careful. What you see is the remainder of items that we have to pack. This is the remainder this of items? This is the remainder of items. Okay, you so, gotta walk us through this. Okay. This is an unbelievable sight. Helpings at the heart of Sergeant Benita Blue DeVault. So we have multiplication cards, we have folders. As we go through the maze, we have spiral notebooks. After years as a school resource officer and seeing fellow SROs use their own money to buy students things they need. I got a runaway toothbrush somewhere. There you go. The TSU accounting and business major was given the chance to coordinate help. Oh, look at y'all grabbing just four at a time. Look at y'all. Community wide. All this is just Madison. Three years ago, she started the back to school bash. This is one of my elementary backpacks. Look at all that They're stuff have in there. Lunch boxes, uh, dry erase markers, crayons, paper, folders. We want to give them a start that forget about COVID. We want to make sure that you have an awesome first start. The giveaways grown from 300 kids to 525 the second year to this year, helping 2,000 students and their families. Lowe's was awesome enough to partner up with me. So in each one of these buckets, I thought this was paint for the Family no, Resource Center. No. I wow, put laundry detergent. This. If a family is struggling with school supplies, we figured that they need extra items at home to keep their family safe. How can a child concentrate yeah. in school when they're worried about basic items? Absolutely. So let us take that stress off of children. Next year, the sergeant, wife, and mother of two has been tasked with the loftiest goal yet, school supplies and hygiene items for 40,000 kids half of Davidson County. How did you get these companies to care? You know what? When you have that heart and you have that spirit, mm -hmm. Hello. people Hello. do not mind coming out and helping you. Is it fair to say that now this is your full-time job? This is my full-time and my part-time job <laughs> because when you're giving, it does not have a cutoff time. You officers are not these, you know, scary folks in your fancy uniforms. That the heart of an officer is exactly what I'm looking at right now. You know, a lot of times we want to judge a book by its cover. We don't want to take the time to read the chapters, to read the pages. And that's just like an officer. You see the uniform, you see the badge, but do you know the person? That's what I want other people to see. Get past the uniform. Yes, we have to do our job. We have to enforce the rules, but we have a heart. And Sergeant Bonita Blue DeVault has a huge heart. She also needs storage space, forklifts, lots of volunteers to help those 40,000 kids. Can you believe that goal? She also collects items year round to stock the youth and family emergency closet. So anything left in that space we just showed you is going to help stock that closet. So Marius, if folks wow. want to help, I've posted her email address in the story at WSMV.com as well as the News 4 app. But how about yes. Benita, yes. Sergeant Blue DeVault? She's, she's helping children, but she's also helping families, and that's what's amazing about this. Yep, absolutely. So proud of her and really all of our all of our awesome first responders, yep. right?